Hey guys, it's Rachel. So today's video will be slightly different. I've been meaning to explore step-by-step -step tutorial videos on this channel, but I never really gotten the chance to do that. So I thought that this video might be a good start. With that, I wanted to test my skills in this realm by showing you how to set up a GC key. So I guess let's just jump right into it. First things first, what is a GC key? Well, if you wish to visit Canada and apply for an immigration visa, such as a study permit, work permit, or express entry, good news is you can now do so online. A GC key basically allows you to securely access the Government of Canada's online services, one of which is immigration. Now, before I dive into the tutorial, uh, we do need to go over some preliminary steps because you need these following items before you can start an application to IRCC. So they are a computer or laptop with Adobe Acrobat Reader to view the application forms, an email address to receive application updates from IRCC, and make sure one of these email addresses from IRCC is out of your junk box or junk inbox. You need a scanner or a high resolution camera or smartphone to submit digital copies of supporting documents. And finally, you need a debit or credit card to pay your application fees. And with that, let's now begin with the tutorial. Step one, visit cic.gc.ca on your devices. I would highly suggest that you use a desktop or laptop for easier navigation. Step two, click your preferred language. Step three, go to sign in or create an account to apply online, which is found on the right side of the web page. Step four, look for the don't have an account and click the register button. Now there are actually two ways to register for an IRCC secure account. Option one is you create a username or password on your own. And option two is using an online Canadian banking information from one of IRCC sign-in partners. But I will only focus on the GC key. Step five, scroll through the page until you see the register with GC key and click on that. After this, you will be redirected to another landing page, which looks like this. Step six, on the right side where it says simple secure access, click sign up. Step seven, read the terms and conditions. So if you agree, click I accept. Step eight, type in your username in the box using a mix of letters and digits. So this part should have no special characters. So once you figure that out, click continue. Step nine is you will create a password that is between eight and 16 characters, contains at least one uppercase and one lowercase letter, and does not contain any of the same three consecutive letters used in your username. Don't forget your login credentials just so you don't encounter any trouble accessing information or updates. You can store it in your wallet or phone, or maybe just slip it inside your pillow, I, I don't know. Basically, don't forget your password and store it in a safe place. Step 10, so choose a recovery question and type the answer to this question in the recovery answer box. Pretty straightforward. Then type in a memorable person or whatever is being asked that's related to the recovery questions that you've chosen. And if you've reached this part, then congratulations. You have successfully created a GC key and you can now submit applications to IRCC. Woohoo! So to test if our account is working, let's just try logging in. So again, you'd want to go to cic.gc.ca, click your preferred language, mine's English, go to sign in or create an account to apply online found on the right side of the page. This time we're choosing option one which is the GC key. So click sign in with GC key, type in your username and password, just like what I said to note it down and click sign in. Read the terms and conditions. And if you agree, click I accept. Next, we'll have to answer the identity validation question correctly and then click continue. And there you go. You have successfully logged in to your online account. By the way, guys, if you encounter any complications with your GC key, um, visit IRCC's official website for further assistance. But yeah, as you can see, or rather not see, <laughs> I've made several applications to IRCC. When we click check full application status, uh, you can essentially follow the progress of your application and check any messages or updates directly from IRCC. There are even application milestones, which I like, where you can learn more about your application status in digestible bits. So if you plan to DIY your application, it should look like this. Oh man, like looking back at this, all I can say is, wow, we've come a long way. Started from the bottom now. Well, we're still at the bottom, but we're getting there. But yeah, 
Isn't it crazy how much your life can change starting with an online application? And the point of this video is to show you that you can do it by yourself with a bit of research. And I hope that I can be one of your resources to get there. Anyway, that's it. That's all I have for today. I hope you learned a thing or two from this. Um, it's pretty simple to do. And I'll try my best to create more videos like this because information is power. Next up, I'll probably show you guys how to use the Come to Canada eligibility tool, which is pretty much the tool that will help you determine which pathway you're going to pursue should you study in Canada. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more related topics to help you jumpstart your international studies in Canada. And don't forget to check out all the helpful links in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. Be safe and be kind. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.